from here now. So, what's your thought when you heard the suffering of Rinkal Kumari in India, and now you have uh, uh, just listened to the perspective of the Shias in Pakistan? So, uh, can you introduce yourself and can you give us? Yeah, first of all, let me. Uh, my, myself is Mr. Advocate Sandeep Kumar Chakravarti. I'm the convener of International Council of Jurists and former Secretary General of All India Law Students Association. Uh, today morning, after I being, after arriving in London for this particular conference, I'm really, really uh, after hearing some uh, all, all these sad things. From the sad feelings which which I mean the suffering, suppressing the sufferings from the people of from different communities like the Hindus and the Shia brothers from Pakistan mm -hmm. that they, you know that in Pakistan every day killings are going on, uh, torture, murder, rape on, on, are being committed excessively on the non-Muslims and also among the Muslims, the Ahmadiyas and Shias. Mm -hmm. This is really, really shameful, first of all. Mm -hmm. It should be condemned and, 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 and at this moment, Pakistan, uh, they are declaring that they are part of this Islamic Republic, but I say that they are, what their activity, the, the activities they are doing they are tarnishing the sacred religion of Islam. Mm -hmm. uh, so this is they are going against the Holy Quran and the Holy Prophet Muhammad's teachings. They are going against the Holy teachings of Prophet Muhammad. If you don't mind cutting you off here on the point here, my question was, uh, because I have spoken to the gentlemen outside which were being thrown out from the hotel, and their question was that how come he can release a terrorist like Malak Ishaq who in court said that I have killed more than 100 Shias and will do so if I will be freed again. And Mr. Iftikhar Chad released him and that was their point. And what's your gut feeling now hearing from these people after you see that this award is given, given to Mr. Iftikhar Chad? It, it, it is, this award is a shameful event in the history of the legal profession throughout the world. And person like Iftikhar Chaudhary doesn't deserve to get any award. A person, a judge should be always impartial and should not be biased or, in, or should not have any soft corner at the time of dispensing justice for any particular section of the people mm -hmm. or a community. But what he did, uh, I mean, a few days ago, he released that terrorist who killed so many hundreds of Shias. And, he, and even in front of the, in the court, he said that if I get released, he will again kill the many Shias. Our sister, Hindu sister Rinki Kumari, mm -hmm. who was abducted, forcibly converted to Islam, mm -hmm. and uh, now they are defending, they are defending that, uh, no, I, I, but the, the parents were not allowed to knock the door of the court, mm -hmm. and they are saying, no, uh, the girls, uh, with the girls' consent, she was converted, no, no, that is not the situation in Pakistan. Mm -hmm. I know I received hundreds of complaints from Pakistan, from the Asian Human Rights, being a member of the Asian Human Rights Commission based mm -hmm. in Hong Kong. I received these complaints and I have seen you know, in the reports sent by various press, press organizations and mm -hmm. others that uh, uh, these, uh, uh, the, the fundamentalist organizations taking with, with the gun, by showing the gun, they force them to make such statements in the court mm -hmm. and there is no justice at all. So how can he be given a jurist award? A jurist is a person who has dedicated his life to establish rule of law irrespective of caste, religion, culture, language, sex. So, but this person is a biased person, and what what today has been the award given conferred to him, an international jurist award. Uh, it is a really, really shameful, and I hope, and I think that the United Nations must look into it. And uh, if I would have been in position, I would have revoked this order. But unfortunately, um, I have some limitation because you know I am also invited person here, and I say it is really shameful. It is really shameful and highly condemnable. So, uh, Thank you, Mr. Chakraborty, for your time and the work you have to